So chapter 7, number 47, we have a gas. I'll just put the gas in a container. Gas. It has a given delta U, it says in the problem. It's a fixed delta U if the temperature is constant. So we'll put temperature constant. Or another way, change in T equals zero. Okay, it's always being constant. So then they give you a couple scenarios to change this up a little bit and they ask you what happened. Okay? So in the first scenario for 47, uh, Oh, and they say the gas is allowed to expand. So they break that wall and make this bigger. Okay? They allow the gas to expand. They ask you a couple questions about it. All this happens at constant temperature, or what they say isothermal. Okay, now let's do the questions. Does the gas do work? What do you think? Well, get your work formula out. Work is equal to minus P change in V. Well, does the volume change? Yeah, so the answer is yes. Is that okay? So, yes to work. Okay, part B. Does the gas exchange heat with the surroundings? What do you think? So this is the system here. Surroundings is everything around it. Uh, we could even write this, minus P is V final, minus V initial. Which one's bigger, final or initial? Final. So is this a positive or negative number? This is positive, but overall. Yeah, yeah. So, negative, what does that mean? When you have a negative work, what's the flow? If W is negative. If the system does work, W goes out, uh, and that's a, a negative number. If the work is done on the system, that's positive. So energy is absorbed out here. Is that okay? Or yes, there is flow. So uh, there, yes, energy flow happens because of work. It has to. If there is work. By definition, that's energy flow. The two ones that are flow are heat and work. Okay? That part okay? So if there's heat or there's work, yes, flow is happening. Okay, oops. Okay. Uh, let's see, where were we? 47, right? What happens to the temperature of the gas? Oh, ouch. What happens to the temperature of the gas? What do you think? Same. It's the same. How did you know that? Yeah, I told you. Yeah. So, that's good. Uh, delta T equals zero. No temperature change. Okay. D, what is delta U for the gas? Yeah, delta U in this case is going to be zero. There is, in this case, there is no temperature change. So when there's no temperature change, there's going to be no U. You could also say this Q plus W. If nothing else is changing, then there might be heat going into the system to make it fixed. So it could be zero. You can say a couple different ways. Let's see, what else can you say? Uh, you could say also in the problem it says that delta U is a fixed quantity, so it's not changing either. So, by those couple things, I guess you could say zero.